Hello, I'm Drusy Bellman, and this fall I'll be teaching the Bay Area Figurative Movement. To give you a little preview, the figurative movement began as a reaction to the post World War II abstract expressionist painting in New York. Jackson Pollock and Willem de Kooning, among others, poured the trauma of the war into giant abstract paintings. And they were lauded as creating the first emphatically American movement in art. But in the Bay Area, where light and landscapes abound, the intensity of New York didn't quite fit. One day, David Park, a professor at the California School of Fine Arts, he famously took all of his work from the 1940s to the Berkeley dump and threw it all away. <clears throat> After that, he started again, but this time he added figures into his painting. So they were still abstract, but the figures were there. And that felt to him more authentic. Throughout the 1950s, Park's colleagues and students followed his lead. Elmer Bischoff and Richard Diebenkorn were fellow professors at the California School of Arts and close friends of Park's. They and many more joined him in adding figures and landscapes back into their abstract. In 1957, the Oakland Museum created an exhibition with these works and effectively sealed the movement and its ideals. After Park's death, the movement took different paths. We'll focus on artists with wildly varied styles working on their versions of real life subjects in the abstract. Theophilus Brown, Paul Warner, and Nathan Oliveira, as well as Joan Brown and Manuel Neri are artists who we will talk about who have fascinating stories and phenomenal work. So I hope you're enticed to join me in this exploration of a movement that asserted itself and declared itself work that could only have come from the phenomenal Bay Area. Look forward to seeing you there.